When creating a toolpath, having greater control of the settings can help to simplify the process and shorten the time needed to get a desired result. Projection strategies, for example, use an automatic range setting by default that creates a pattern that encompasses the entire part. In situations where we're just trying to machine a certain area or feature, this projection pattern can be shadowed by the neighboring geometry, giving us a less than desired or incomplete result. Autodesk PowerMill 2022 aided in this by introducing manual range controls for curve and surface projection. PowerMill 2022.1 has expanded on this option to be available now in point, line, and plane projection as well. Let's look at how these range controls can affect a projection finishing toolpath. We will start by activating this first line projection toolpath where we're trying to machine a nozzle type feature with an undercut. The first thing we notice is the toolpath goes around most of the nozzle, but then it cuts around other areas of the part which we do not want. Let's now look at the settings and preview the projection. We see that the pattern goes completely around the part. As this pattern is projected, there are areas that shadow or block our intended area, so the toolpath is created there instead. There are ways this could be resolved. For example, we could select the interfering geometry and set it to be ignored. This would allow the projection to pass through, but would also be dangerous as these surfaces would no longer be looked at and could lead to potential gouges or collisions. We could also use the manual type in commands, which would work fine, but could also take a lot of time trying different settings. Range controls makes this a simple and safe process. Let's now look at the manual range toolpath. We can see a much better result machining just the nozzle and not the rest of the part. Looking at the projection range settings, we see the manual option is selected. And the maximum distance value is 10 millimeter. When we preview, we can see that the pattern now encompasses only the area that we want to machine. And when it's projected, it will not be blocked by the other geometry. Next, Let's look at point projection finishing on the second nozzle. Again, we see a toolpath that machines many undesired areas of the part. Selecting the preview shows us how the point is defining the center of the projection sphere, which again encompasses the entire part. The manual range can also be used here to help limit the areas being machined. Activating the manual range toolpath, we see a complete toolpath that only machines the nozzle. In this situation, the max distance has been set to 12 mm. By previewing, we can see the pattern is only in the area to be machined and limits the toolpath from other areas creating a well-controlled toolpath. With the plane projection, we can see a similar example where we're trying to machine an undercut region. Looking at the automatic range toolpath, we see a fairly good toolpath, but it has a few areas where the tool rolls over onto geometry that has already been machined. These areas could be trimmed away with toolpath limiting, but with manual range controls, a better result can be achieved by only allowing the pattern to be projected out 4 mm, which reduces the area being machined. This addition of projection range to line, point, and plane projection strategies simplifies the process of creating toolpaths to machine complex geometry, resulting in a reduced programming time, improved surface finish, and faster cycle times.